situations vacant. Situations vacant. All sorts of jobs are available in today's buoyant economy, regardless of your age or skill level. All sorts of jobs are available in today's buoyant economy, regardless of your age or skill level. From fishmongers to flight attendants, researchers to receptionists, PAs to PR managers, and solicitors to salespeople. From fishmongers to flight attendants, researchers to receptionists, PAs to PR managers, and solicitors to salespeople. You can take your pick. You can take your pick. We are looking for a sales executive for our fast expanding Bradford based business. We are looking for a sales executive for our fast expanding Bradford based business. We are the UK leader in the design and delivery of supply chain solutions for a wide range of clients. We are the UK leader in the design and delivery of supply chain solutions for a wide range of clients. You will be articulate, outgoing and sales driven with excellent interpersonal skills. You will be articulate, outgoing and sales driven with excellent interpersonal skills. Looking for a job? Bored with sitting around? Want to get back to work right away? Looking for a job? Bored with sitting around? Want to get back to work right away?
Call us today to find out about this exciting opportunity in a busy downtown office. Call us today to find out about this exciting opportunity in a busy downtown office. Competitive basic wage plus overtime, commission, and a company car. Competitive basic wage plus overtime, commission, and a company car. We have an opening for a website designer to start work at once in our London branch. We have an opening for a website designer to start work at once in our London branch. If you have artistic flair and are numerate and computer literate, we want to hear from you. If you have artistic flair and are numerate and computer literate, we want to hear from you. Excellent remuneration package, together with a bonus scheme and a London waiting. Excellent remuneration package, together with a bonus scheme and a London waiting. An exciting opportunity has arisen to join the finance department of a top-flight engineering firm. An exciting opportunity has arisen to join the finance department of a top-flight engineering firm. The successful applicant must have a proven track record in financial management and be a team player. The successful applicant must have a proven track record in financial management and be a team player. Salary will depend on qualifications and experience and will be accompanied by a generous benefits package. Salary will depend on qualifications and experience and will be accompanied by a generous benefits package.
As an Equal Opportunities employer, we welcome applications from all candidates. As an Equal Opportunities employer, we welcome applications from all candidates. Irrespective of age, ethnic origin, religion, belief, gender, or sexual orientation. Irrespective of age, ethnic origin, religion, belief, gender, or sexual orientation. Because it is illegal to discriminate when advertising for a job, some advertisements can be a little strange. Because it is illegal to discriminate when advertising for a job, some advertisements can be a little strange. Wanted. Person to model a new range of maternity clothes. Man or woman. Must be six months pregnant. Wanted. Person to model a new range of maternity clothes. Man or woman. Must be six months pregnant. Exercise. Translate. Exercise. Translate. This week's show is about the buoyant labour market. This week's show is about the buoyant labour market. The airline has an excellent track record for safety. The airline has an excellent track record for safety.
oil exports were buoyed by the high price of crude. Oil exports were buoyed by the high price of crude. I'm bored with sitting around. I want to get back to work right away. I'm bored with sitting around. I want to get back to work right away. All sorts of jobs are available, regardless of your age or skills. All sorts of jobs are available, regardless of your age or skills. Tenth lesson. Tenth lesson. The right way and the wrong way. The right way and the wrong way. Dear Sir or Madam, Dear sir or madam, I am writing in response to your recent advertisement for a customer relationship officer. I am writing in response to your recent advertisement for a customer relationship officer. After graduating in business from the University of Western England five years ago, after graduating in business from the University of Western England five years ago,
I worked as a sales negotiator for a chain of estate agents headquartered in Bristol. I worked as a sales negotiator for a chain of estate agents headquartered in Bristol. I then relocated to Birmingham for personal reasons and was unemployed for a short spell. I then relocated to Birmingham for personal reasons and was unemployed for a short spell. Not only did I quickly find a new job, I was also promoted to manager within a fortnight. Not only did I quickly find a new job, I was also promoted to manager within a fortnight. I am a self-starter with a can-do attitude and an ability to multitask. I am a self-starter with a can-do attitude and an ability to multitask. I get on well with people and I have first class presentation and teamwork skills. I get on well with people and I have first class presentation and teamwork skills. Your company cannot afford to overlook this opportunity to hire such an exceptionally talented person. Yours truly. Your company cannot afford to overlook this opportunity to hire such an exceptionally talented person. Yours truly. Dear Sir, thank you for your application, which we reviewed with great attention. Dear Sir, thank you for your application, which we reviewed with great attention. Unfortunately, the position has already been filled and we have no further vacancies. Unfortunately, the position has already been filled and we have no further vacancies.
We wish you every success in your search for employment. Yours sincerely, J. Turner, HRM. We wish you every success in your search for employment. Yours sincerely, J. Turner, HRM. Realizing that he might have appeared big headed, Craig rewrote the letter. Realizing that he might have appeared big headed, Craig rewrote the letter. Dear Sir, please find enclosed a copy of my CV listing my qualifications and my relevant work experience. Dear Sir, please find enclosed a copy of my CV listing my qualifications and my relevant work experience. I am available to come for an interview at any time that may be convenient to you. I am available to come for an interview at any time that may be convenient to you. You will find my contact details below. Yours truly, Craig Brown. You will find my contact details below. Yours truly, Craig Brown. Within a week, he received a positive reply and was called for an interview the following month. Within a week, he received a positive reply and was called for an interview the following month. The moral of the story? You should never blow your own trumpet. The moral of the story? You should never blow your own trumpet. Exercise. Translate. Exercise. Translate.
we relocated production to a cheaper region. We relocated production to a cheaper region. Women are apparently better than men at multitasking. Women are apparently better than men at multitasking. You'd better get on with your work if you want to finish before midnight. You'd better get on with your work if you want to finish before midnight. They really can't afford to overlook this exciting opportunity. They really can't afford to overlook this exciting opportunity. Please send us a letter with a CV and your contact details. Please send us a letter with a CV and your contact details. Eleventh lesson. Eleventh lesson. Tips for a successful interview. Tips for a successful interview. Don't get there on time. Be early. Punctuality is key to making a good first impression. 
Don't get there on time. Be early. Punctuality is key to making a good first impression. If the worst comes to the worst and you know you're going to be late, be sure to phone and warn someone. If the worst comes to the worst and you know you're going to be late, be sure to phone and warn someone. Dress conservatively, better safe than sorry, and look smart. Sloppy clothes are a no no. Dress conservatively, better safe than sorry, and look smart. Sloppy clothes are a no no. Make sure you are properly prepared. Bone up on the company's history, achievements, and products. Make sure you are properly prepared. Bone up on the company's history, achievements, and products. Read their literature, check their website, and get hold of their annual report. Read their literature, check their website, and get hold of their annual report. You could also write down some sample questions and practice them with someone beforehand. You could also write down some sample questions and practice them with someone beforehand. Pay attention to the interviewer and listen carefully to what he or she is saying. Pay attention to the interviewer and listen carefully to what he or she is saying. That way, you'll be able to phrase your answers carefully and stick to the point. That way, you'll be able to phrase your answers carefully and stick to the point.
be brief and thorough when responding. Stay focused and avoid long-winded explanations. Be brief and thorough when responding. Stay focused and avoid long-winded explanations. Smile, nod and show that you're enthusiastic. Your body language will say a lot about you. Smile, nod and show that you're enthusiastic. Your body language will say a lot about you. Identify your weaknesses. The interviewer is bound to ask about them and be ready to discuss them frankly. Identify your weaknesses. The interviewer is bound to ask about them and be ready to discuss them frankly. Don't say something like, I have no shortcomings at all, except for my modesty. Don't say something like, I have no shortcomings at all, except for my modesty. If the interview takes place over a meal, there are a few pitfalls to avoid. If the interview takes place over a meal, there are a few pitfalls to avoid. Don't order messy food. Dishes with lots of sauce or awkward bones should be avoided. Don't order messy food. Dishes with lots of sauce or awkward bones should be avoided. Don't drink alcohol. If you are offered wine or beer, just say that you're watching your weight and prefer not to drink. Don't drink alcohol. If you are offered wine or beer, just say that you're watching your weight and prefer not to drink. Don't offer to pay. It's the prospective employer who will pick up the bill and leave a tip. Don't offer to pay. 
it's the prospective employer who will pick up the bill and leave a tip. In any case, you should always send the interviewer a thank you letter afterwards and express your interest in the job. In any case, you should always send the interviewer a thank you letter afterwards and express your interest in the job. Last but not least, don't be overambitious or you'll end up being promoted to a job that you can't do. Last but not least, don't be overambitious or you'll end up being promoted to a job that you can't do. Exercise. Translate. Exercise. Translate. Bone up on the company's history, get hold of their annual report and check their website. Bone up on the company's history, get hold of their annual report and check their website. Stick to the point. You're too long-winded. Stick to the point. You're too long-winded. Let me give you a few tips about healthier eating. Let me give you a few tips about healthier eating. You must look your best for tomorrow's interview. Jeans are a no-no.
You must look your best for tomorrow's interview. Jeans are a no-no. He's bound to be late for the meeting. He always is. He's bound to be late for the meeting. He always is. Twelfth lesson. Twelfth lesson. Do you speak Managerese? From Plain English for Business. Do you speak Managerese? From Plain English for Business. Once upon a time, managers used to talk in simple language about their jobs and their firm. Once upon a time, managers used to talk in simple language about their jobs and their firm. They used plain English and they would be understood by everyone around them. They used plain English and they would be understood by everyone around them. But today's managers speak a totally different language, crammed with buzzwords and catchphrases. But today's managers speak a totally different language, crammed with buzzwords and catchphrases. that are hard to understand if you're not an insider. That are hard to understand if you're not an insider.
For example, an executive will say, Our company is downsizing, instead of, We are dismissing lots of workers. For example, an executive will say, Our company is downsizing, instead of, We are dismissing lots of workers. Rather than having a boring old plan, every company has to have a vision statement. Rather than having a boring old plan, every company has to have a vision statement. Nor does it just serve its customers. It is client focused and need centered. Nor does it just serve its customers. It is client focused and need centered. To get ahead in business, it's no use just being original. To get ahead in business, it's no use just being original. You have to think out of the box or even push the envelope. You have to think out of the box or even push the envelope. And if you need to learn more about the job, you will be upskilled, not trained. And if you need to learn more about the job, you will be upskilled, not trained. We no longer work from 9 to 5 because we live in a 24 7 digital world. We no longer work from 9 to 5 because we live in a 24 7 digital world. Here are some common examples of managerese and their English translations. Here are some common examples of managerese and their English translations.
We need to be lean and mean in order to boost the bottom line. Means? We need to be lean and mean in order to boost the bottom line. Means? Our company has to be small and aggressive in order to increase profits. Our company has to be small and aggressive in order to increase profits. We empower our people so that they will be proactive and go the extra mile, means. We empower our people so that they will be proactive and go the extra mile, means. Our employees have greater responsibilities so that they will work harder. Our employees have greater responsibilities so that they will work harder. But at the end of the day, and when all is said and done. But at the end of the day, and when all is said and done. you will find yourself between positions, in other words, on the dole. You will find yourself between positions, in other words, on the dole. So please, get used to using plain English. So please, get used to using plain English. Exercise. Translate. Exercise. Translate. Managers used to talk simply about their job, and they used plain English. Managers used to talk simply about their job, and they used plain English.
the company doesn't have a plan, nor does it dismiss people. The company doesn't have a plan, nor does it dismiss people. We no longer work from nine to five. We're open twenty four seven. We no longer work from nine to five. We're open twenty four seven. She's not used to using spreadsheets. She's not used to using spreadsheets. The bottom line is that he's too mean to lend me any money. The bottom line is that he's too mean to lend me any money. Thirteenth lesson. Thirteenth lesson. Back at the flat. Back at the flat. You had a job interview today, didn't you, Dave? So how did it go? You had a job interview today, didn't you, Dave? So how did it go? Terrible. Every time I open my mouth, I put my foot in it. Terrible. Every time I open my mouth, I put my foot in it.
It can't have been that bad, surely. What went wrong? It can't have been that bad, surely. What went wrong? Everything, Raja. I made a complete and utter fool of myself. Everything, Raja. I made a complete and utter fool of myself. First, the interviewer asked me how I deal with certain problems. First, the interviewer asked me how I deal with certain problems. I'll describe a situation to you, he said, and you suggest solutions to me. I'll describe a situation to you, he said, and you suggest solutions to me. You catch an employee sleeping at his or her desk. What would you do? You catch an employee sleeping at his or her desk. What would you do? I'd ask them if the coffee machine was broken, of course, I replied. I'd ask them if the coffee machine was broken, of course, I replied. He said, you'll be given lots of responsibilities. Can you cope? He said, you'll be given lots of responsibilities. Can you cope? I told him that in my last job, I was always held responsible if there was a cock up. I told him that in my last job, I was always held responsible if there was a cock up. Then he goes, do you think you could handle a variety of work? Then he goes, do you think you could handle a variety of work? And I go, I should be able to, 
I've had ten jobs in the past eight months. And I go, I should be able to. I've had ten jobs in the past eight months. After that, he asked me where I expected to be in ten years' time. After that, he asked me where I expected to be in ten years' time. And I said, since it was Monday, that I'd probably be on the golf course. And I said, since it was Monday, that I'd probably be on the golf course. But I think the last straw was when he asked me if I had any questions. But I think the last straw was when he asked me if I had any questions. I asked him to explain the benefit package to me, and to tell me whether I could have a year's salary in advance. I asked him to explain the benefit package to me, and to tell me whether I could have a year's salary in advance. He can't have been very pleased. What did he say? He can't have been very pleased. What did he say? Nothing. For five minutes. Then he told me to get out. Nothing. For five minutes. Then he told me to get out. Exercise. Translate. Exercise. Translate. We made complete and utter fools of ourselves on the golf course. We made complete and utter fools of ourselves on the golf course.
So how did the job interview go today? Terribly. So how did the job interview go today? Terribly. Every time Sally opens her mouth, she puts her foot in it. Every time Sally opens her mouth, she puts her foot in it. Can you cope with the pressure? I should be able to. Can you cope with the pressure? I should be able to. That's the last straw. I resign. Get out of my office. That's the last straw. I resign. Get out of my office. Fourteenth lesson. Fourteenth lesson. The bottom line is that I'm not used to using a spreadsheet. The bottom line is that I'm not used to using a spreadsheet. I thought you said you were numerate and computer literate. I thought you said you were numerate and computer literate.
I'm sorry. I was blowing my own trumpet. I'm sorry. I was blowing my own trumpet. I used to work for a Bradford based company that made solar panels. I used to work for a Bradford based company that made solar panels. And I would follow training courses at the university every single week. And I would follow training courses at the university every single week. But while the professor was speaking to the group, we used to talk at the back of the classroom. But while the professor was speaking to the group, we used to talk at the back of the classroom. Not only did he get angry, he also told me to get out. Not only did he get angry, he also told me to get out. Let me explain the program to you, and you'll see how easy it is. Let me explain the program to you, and you'll see how easy it is. Knowing how to use this new software will certainly pay dividends. Knowing how to use this new software will certainly pay dividends.
Okay, but use plain English. Long words are a no-no. Okay, but use plain English. Long words are a no-no. Fifteenth lesson. Fifteenth lesson. The United Kingdom in profile. From an introduction to the UK. The United Kingdom in profile. From an introduction to the UK. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, otherwise known as the UK. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, otherwise known as the UK. constitutes the greater part of the group of islands known as the British Isles. constitutes the greater part of the group of islands known as the British Isles. the largest of which is Great Britain, made up of England, Wales and Scotland. The largest of which is Great Britain, made up of England, Wales and Scotland. The six counties in the northern part of the island of Ireland are also part of the UK. The six counties in the northern part of the island of Ireland are also part of the UK. There are several other islands, including the Isle of Wight and the Scilly Isles. There are several other islands, including the Isle of Wight and the Scilly Isles.
England is the largest of the three countries, covering two-thirds of the total land mass. England is the largest of the three countries, covering two-thirds of the total land mass. It goes from the tip of Cornwall up through the Cotswolds and the Midlands. It goes from the tip of Cornwall up through the Cotswolds and the Midlands. to the Peak District, the Yorkshire Dales and the Lake District to the Peak District, the Yorkshire Dales and the Lake District across the Pennines, the so-called backbone of England, and right up to the Cheviot Hills. Across the Pennines, the so-called backbone of England, and right up to the Cheviot Hills. This and the remains of Hadrian's Wall mark the 96-mile Anglo-Scottish border. This and the remains of Hadrian's Wall mark the 96-mile Anglo-Scottish border. Scotland is composed of the lowlands in the south and the highlands in the north. Scotland is composed of the lowlands in the south and the highlands in the north. It also has around 800 islands, of which some 150 are inhabited. It also has around 800 islands, of which some 150 are inhabited. To the southwest of England lies Wales, made up of the mountainous north and the valleys and coastal plain of the south. To the southwest of England lies Wales, made up of the mountainous north and the valleys and coastal plain of the south. It should be noted that neither the Isle of Man nor the Channel Islands are part of the UK. It should be noted 
that neither the Isle of Man nor the Channel Islands are part of the UK. For administrative purposes, England is divided into regions and counties, many of which end in Shire, Hampshire for example. For administrative purposes, England is divided into regions and counties, many of which end in Shire, Hampshire for example. Scotland and Wales both have their own parliaments, but neither country is fully independent. Scotland and Wales both have their own parliaments, but neither country is fully independent. In terms of population, there are five times more people in England than there are in the rest of the nation. In terms of population, there are five times more people in England than there are in the rest of the nation. The climate is generally mild and temperate, with frequent changes of weather, but no extreme temperatures. The climate is generally mild and temperate, with frequent changes of weather, but no extreme temperatures. The mean duration of sunshine varies from 5 hours a day in the far north to 8 hours in the south. The mean duration of sunshine varies from 5 hours a day in the far north to 8 hours in the south. Despite the UK's reputation for wet weather, average rainfall is fairly low and heavy rain is comparatively rare. Despite the UK's reputation for wet weather, average rainfall is fairly low and heavy rain is comparatively rare. Exercise. Translate. Exercise. Translate.
Women make up 40% of the workforce in the UK. Women make up 40% of the workforce in the UK. We watched the movie right through to the end. We watched the movie right through to the end. A profile of the new Defence Secretary was published in yesterday's Times. A profile of the new Defence Secretary was published in yesterday's Times. Services are the backbone of Britain's economy. Services are the backbone of Britain's economy. There are about a thousand more people in the north of the county than in the south. There are about a thousand more people in the north of the county than in the south. Sixteenth lesson. Sixteenth lesson. This sceptered isle. From the Welcome to Britain Guide. This sceptered isle. From the Welcome to Britain Guide.
Welcome to one of the most enchanting, varied and dynamic countries in the world. Welcome to one of the most enchanting, varied and dynamic countries in the world. A land of scenic splendor and a magnet for tourists from every continent. A land of scenic splendor and a magnet for tourists from every continent. Go surfing off the craggy coast of the West Country. Meander through the timeless thatched villages of Devon. Go surfing off the craggy coast of the West Country. Meander through the timeless thatched villages of Devon. Don't forget to stop for a yummy Devonshire cream tea on your way. Don't forget to stop for a yummy Devonshire cream tea on your way. Or enjoy the rolling hills and rural beauties of Somerset, which boasts endless sandy beaches and the smallest city in England. Or enjoy the rolling hills and rural beauties of Somerset, which boasts endless sandy beaches and the smallest city in England. If it's picture postcard scenery you're after, the Cotswolds is a must-see region. If it's picture postcard scenery you're after, the Cotswolds is a must-see region. This is classic countryside with unspoilt limestone villages, sturdy dry stone walls and handsome market towns. This is classic countryside with unspoilt limestone villages, sturdy dry stone walls and handsome market towns. Head further north, where you will find shimmering lakes, fairy tale castles, and mysterious moors. Head further north, where you will find shimmering lakes, fairy tale castles, and mysterious moors.
The Peak District, for instance, renowned for its wild scenery and crisscrossed with walking trails, is a heaven for nature lovers. The Peak District, for instance, renowned for its wild scenery and crisscrossed with walking trails, is a heaven for nature lovers. or cross over into Wales, famed for its rugged landscape and snow-capped peaks, but also its magnificent seashore. Or cross over into Wales, famed for its rugged landscape and snow-capped peaks, but also its magnificent seashore. Travel north of the border and discover the breathtakingly spectacular landscapes of Scotland. Travel north of the border and discover the breathtakingly spectacular landscapes of Scotland.